Good day, guys. Welcome back. Uh, we're at Merry Merry, quarter mile drag strip. Got a little march here, obviously, um, and, and the U, maybe, but we'll, we'll see. Going to give it a bit of a bash down the quarter mile and see what we can do. Last time I was here, way back at the Nationals, it was like four years ago, I'm thinking, it was still running the five speed manual gearbox and shifts were very slow. I'll put a link, video, wherever. Um, 11.9s or something, quite pathetic for the car. We'll see. Today, I believe I can run like tens and it's okay uh we won't get sent home i don't think it'll go any faster than that we'll see so i've got half a tank of gas and that's all so i'm not going to be here all day beating on it all day we'll just do a handful of runs and see what it does Alrighty, it does what it should do. Uh, first run, you'll see as long as the GoPro work, Nana did off the line, just very, very, like basically a bog down, so very slowly. Uh, 11.04 at 131.1 miles an hour, so that's not not shabby, uh, all things considered. Second run gave it a probably a bit too much off the line and, and then backed off and got back into it and carried on. Uh, that was a 10.46 at 136 miles an hour. That's better. That's more like what the thing should do. And it would go faster with a bit of a tune up and all that sort of carry on and without the headwind and rah, rah, rah. Races excuses coming up my ears, but that's what it's done. Uh, third run, much better off the line. Still probably not perfect. Um, it's hard to do, right? So 10.36 at 130. Eight, I think it is. It's a squibble. It looks maybe an eight, maybe an nine. Don't know. 138. I'll be on the pessimistic side. 0 0.40 miles an hour. Fast. Not bad. Good size. Um, I'm going to have a look at the logs. It, it will probably be quite rich at the top end, so I may just give it a wee bit of a tweak there and um, see what we can do. Stuff is broken. That's that's not mine. 
That used to be mine. I did quite a lot of work on it and beat on it a lot in history. And it is, that's broken. That broke the little, the little roundy thingy that comes out of the differential in the back there. That that doesn't round anymore. No more roundy. So the car doesn't <laughs> doesn't drive. You put it in gear, and the speedo goes, and the car doesn't move. So poor Claire. Um, we've organised for. Uh, towing of this back to the lab so you're, <laughs> you're going to see a video fixing that now unfortunately but fortunately it's not a big one um, and you'll see the in car I just broke this yeah I did it can happen so all this is all good everything on the outside is all good 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 everything's good except for one little piece that lives just inside here is not good anymore it's a bit hard to show you on the camera but you might hear the noise. Um, yeah, you might have heard the noise. If you didn't hear the noise, there was a duck, 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 clunk, clunk, clunk. The shaft in between there and the wheel, he's snappy, snappy. A um, bit hard on the launch. It did wheel spin apparently, but yeah, I broke it. So that happens. Not terribly upset. Not upset at all, actually, I don't really care too much although I do need this going for the 17th is the only concern uh, that's genuine concern I want to take people for joy rides and have fun so I've got to construct another shaft to go in here it's not hard it just needs to be cut and re-splined so it's a factory shaft and they just cut re-splined I can't remember which end it was so it'll be interesting to see whether it's the one that's been re-splined or the factory end one of them's either or if you know what I mean that's all good though so that's fine, we did the 10.3, 10.34, 138 point, 10 something miles an hour, uh, just 225 k's an hour or something like that. So yeah, it's good, goes fast, makes the power probably that I've said it's been making. So yay! Um, right, I'm going to stick it on the trailer, which is all set, ready to go. It's, it's pretty early in the day, it's lunchtime, so I might have some lunch watch the shenanigans and um, get everything back home that's not going to take long to pull that out of the car um, might be half an hour at worst so we'll get that done and it'll be all set ready for tomorrow morning to give the guys a call and say hey can you uh, make another one of these for me please and see how busy they are welcome to Glenn's collection of broken things broken thing in, in behind there you know that's broken you know broken thing I think it's the I think it's the right hand side one I can't remember I have to have a look again pretty sure it's the right hand side so the I'm going to show you here's one I prepared earlier in there the end of this is snapped off I believe inside the differential we'll, we'll see we'll find out that's that's what I reckon's probably happened that's pretty common failure it could be something different but that's probably what it is and then on the march, oh, I can show you here on this one, uh, this shaft here has snapped off inside there. Pretty much par for the course for drag racing. It's, uh, it's nothing new, it's nothing unexpected, it's nothing unique, it's not a uh, bespoke problem with my car or the Z or whatever, it happens. You get a bit of axle tramp and grips up, snap. And a few people were like, oh, be careful, you'll break things and something. Eh, if it breaks something, it breaks something. So <laughs> that's all right. We did, uh, like I say, it was a, it was a 10 point three four. Uh, going off my memory now, 138 point something miles an hour. Fast, good. Bruce has got the power, but I've been saying more or less anyway, if you know, people want to argue semantics, it's still running quite rich. It's a lot better than what it had been. I have tweaked the tune a little bit. It's not as awful as it was, but it's still a little bit rich. So could go faster assuming you get a launch without smashing other things so I do have somewhere the piece that I need I can't remember if we chopped off this end and re-splined it or that end and re-splined it but I believe I'm pretty certain that is the one that we need it's got a bigger spline in here than some of the other ones do and a bigger spline there so the weather's not too bad, this isn't a reasonable spot for getting it out, so I'll pull this one apart, take that out, stick it on the shelf, ready to go, ready to go off and be repaired, and then I'll pop this one up in the air, 
undo the six bolts and, and try and I'll get the flange out we'll see how much of the shaft comes out with the flange if it's all there that's bad that means it's something with the diff like the actual the actual gears the spinny roundy bits inside the differential technically it is part of the diff anyway that shaft that may be broken all right there's our failure point right there right there in fact I'm actually lying to you that is not our failure point today that is that shaft there which as you can see is all covered in dust and everything that's the one that failed on the skid pan um, years ago taking the firefighter for a ride and that had been machined and then heat treated and it broke right there right right next to the end of the heat treating so when we made a replacement for that particular shaft i said okay well that's of that's not worked out for whatever reason who cares i'm not blaming anyone or, or whatever people just followed my instructions and did what i said which was best practice it didn't work broke so the replacement was just machined and left alone we, did, we didn't heat treat it or anything we just left it in the original factory condition it's all it's, it's all good news don't worry i'm not panicking or stressing or pointing fingers here's our replacement shaft that we've got today this is the new one that's going to replace this this broken shaft here so that's the factory end and that's fine that's that's good and um, this is the end that we machined and got heat treated and it's broken off right there and it's broken almost exactly the same spot as the other one these were both done at the same time uh, by the same people following the same instructions that i'd given which was best practice and the thing to do so we're not going to do that this time i'm going to this needs to be significantly abbreviated that's that's that end of it there as you can see it um oh slight difference slight difference mr glenn i need to look into that and make sure we're not going to make a faux pas what I need to do is just put that back into the same joint that it came from and it'll be absolutely fine that'll be problem solved um, but as you can see yeah it's considerably longer so we just need we need this to be way <laughs> way up here no problem I'll get that done I'll just run the angle grinder through it here somewhere or whatever and they can machine it and it'll be good as gold run out of time very late o'clock I've not taken this one taking the broken bits out of this one to see exactly what's going on to do that first thing in the morning I might be jumping the gun uh, just a little bit but I reckon it might be pretty safe to say that this particular part is no longer in optimal condition and its performance may be slightly impaired by the lack of all the shit that's supposed to be on the end here yeah that'd be broken we gonna need another one of them that's out of that one in case some um, case in fact, actually there's another one in this one but we're not going to take that one we're going to find a second hand diff or something out of i know where there might be one actually and we're going to fix that i have no idea where we were up to with this video stuff and things been busy but new shaft that's that there see this is the old shaft right. should look pretty much the same as that right we'll get that it's supposed to line up there like that this one's got a bit more spline on here so that's good can't complain about that looks like it's uh that's pretty much the same as that isn't it it's good except that one's in one piece not not two pieces like this they took my nut off there machined it off oh to get the length right i guess uh cv joints pretty clean pretty much ready to go so we'll um give it a, a last little tidy up put some grease in it put this little clip here belongs in this groove here does it fit 
kind of sorta. They warned me about that, that might need opening up a little bit. I've got a trick for that. Um, and we'll just put it all back here and put it in the cart. Now this other thing here, this 300ZX, um, this one, I've started doing some other things that we're going to do, but yeah, that's that's what happened to that inside the old differential. Now, the quaif instructions are that you've got to cut this off, cut this shorter. This is actually quite a bit longer from factory. Just wondering when, when that was cut, whether there's a bit of heat gone into that. Done some things to it, so when we put the new one in and I cut it, I'll just be very careful about how much heat actually ends up going into that particular piece. Um, consequent, uh, coincidentally, I should say, uh, this is Z32 300ZX output do flicky what's it thingy and his um, 350Z or whatever it was that I stole it from. And there's actually a couple of different versions, right? Some of them have got threads in them, some of them don't. And I can't remember which way this was on the march, so I have to make sure I put the right one in because that'll be balls if they've both got threads. But there you go. Right, let's um, fix this crap. That's a diff. That is a diff. That's a Z32 300ZX twin turbo diff, thanks to Mike Corey. That's for the blue car, so that's fixed. It's not broken, it just has pieces missing, and, and the piece that we need is right there, and it just needs a small modification and put into the car, so I'm going to call that fixed, sort of. Uh, but this is definitely fixed. And there we go. Um, well, you can't even see the shaft, actually, because of where it lives in the back of the car. Can we see it through there? Yeah, there it is. There's a shiny shaft in there, because I haven't put any paint in it. It's right in the middle of your screen. So that is definitely fixed. That is... Should do an inspection of everything else in back here, but that, that's good to go. Send it again. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to look at that blimmin' membership thing. Five bucks a month and you get to see the videos earlier. Of course, the people have already subs... I'm, I'm done that thing. They've already seen this. All right, cheers, bye.